But anyways, we'll do ptunnel.exe, and then we'll do dash p, and then the IP address of the server um, that's hosting the ping tunnel. And then we'll do dash lp, which is a local listening port. Um, and then we'll do dash da, and then uh, the IP address of a, a remote uh, proxy. And since the server computer um, is running the SSH server, we can just use the same IP address. And then we'll do the dash DP, which is the destination port. And that's just uh, SSH is running on port 22. So basically, what the ping tunnel is doing is opening up a local port 8000. And any, tra any traffic that's directed to that port will be tunneled through the ping tunnel to the SSH server running on our server PC. And then we just push enter and the ping tunnel is set up. And now we can open up PuTTY. Uh, configure to localhost and then point to port 8000 and then we'll start a uh, SSH tunnel on port 8001 and then we'll just log into the SSH server here alright seems like everything's working And then we can configure our browser to connect to the SSH tunnel. And then our internet traffic will be tunneled through the ping tunnel. And as you can see, I can connect to infinities.com. That's it for this episode on Bypass and Top Cloud Access Control. Check us out on our new IRC at server.bezos.com. See the server on basis.com. That's it for this episode. I'm bypassing Top Spot Access Control. Check it out. Here we go. We guess we got red. Another episode of Full Disclosure brought to you by InfinityExist.com. I'm Knox and this is Patch. Today we're going to be doing bypassing hotspot. Alright, again, ready? We gotta go. This is another episode of Full Disclosure brought to you by InfinityExist.com. I'm Knox, this is Patch, and today we're going to be over 
going over bypassing hotspot access control. How are we going to do that? We're going to use session stealing, DNS tunnel, and ping tunnel. Let's go get the Starbucks.